I've worked with a lot of people who were hyper conscientious and the thing about hyper conscientious people is that they'll just work till they die and that's actually not very productive because then they're dead and they can't work and so what you have to do with hyper conscientious people is you have to say well I know you'd rather do nothing but work and maybe you're just as guilty as you can possibly be when you're not working but let's figure out what you're up to and what you're up to in all probability is the attempt to be productive in the least problematic longest sustaining possible manner and that might mean you have to take a rest and so one of the things I, I used to work with lawyers, with people who had risen to the top of large law firms and they were hyperproductive types and they were often, you know, trying to hit their impossible quota for yearly hours and, and burning themselves to a frazzle as a consequence. And one of the things that we used to do was they couldn't work fewer hours because a day that just didn't work. But what we did was we'd have them take more time off, you know, like a four-day weekend every two months or something that was plotted out into the future. And then we track their billable hours, which is their degree of productivity, and it would actually increase. So that was so cool because you could take hardworking people and you could say, look, you know, take a break. Why? Well, because you'll be more productive if you take a break. No, that couldn't possibly be. Like, I should just work flat out all the time. It's like, let's test that out. You take a break now and then. It's like, well, what happened was their productivity would increase often by 10%. So there's, a, there's wisdom here too, which is okay. And this is, alludes to the Adam and Eve story near the end. You just, you, you're self-conscious, you discover the future, you have to work. Well, then the question is, how much should you work? And one answer is, you better bloody well work all the time because no matter how much work you do, you're not solving your problems. They're coming along, man. And you can stack up all the money you want. You can stack up all the wealth you want. It is not going to protect you in the final analysis. So you better be hitting the ground running and you better run flat out all the time. Well, what happens if you do that? Well, then you die. That's not a good, that's not a good solution. So maybe you should rest. And so how does that rest get instantiated? Well, it's not easy to tell. But one way to do it let's say conceptually, is to say, look, even God had to rest one day a week. And so you don't have to be so presumptuous to assume that if God had to rest one day a week, that maybe, you know, you are allowed to work nonstop without a break at all. You know, and, and I think our culture has slipped into that in, in quite a dangerous way because everything is open all the time. And I mean, I I'm, I'm find that just as convenient as the rest of you, but, you know, it's so strange to talk to modern people because one of the things they always tell you, we say, well, how are you? And they, what do they always say? They don't say good. They don't say bad. They say busy.